everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to upload documents and photos and save it in your Google Drive, which will make that easier for you when using them in Google Classroom. So the first thing you want to do is to go to your waffle icon here, click on it and open up this, which will show you that you can click on here and get into your Google Drive. Once your Google Drive opens on the left hand side at the very top, you'll see that you have the option to upload a new file. Click on that. Second option down is file upload. You're going to click on that, which now shows you that you can choose it from anywhere. Desktop, downloads, documents. I'm going to show you how to convert a doc, a Word doc, to a Google doc. And so that's why I'm choosing documents. So let's go over here, choose this document, and hit open. On the bottom right hand side of the screen, you'll see that it says uploading one item, and it'll let you know when it's done. When that upload is finished, you see it's in Word, you're going to double click on it, which will now open it on this screen. Right now it is in Word format. You're going to have the option once it uploads to open with. You're going to open with Google Docs and click on Google Docs. Now that this is opened, you'll notice that it still says at the end of my resume .docx, which shows that it's still in a Word format. You still have all the same Google Doc tools available to you. It's just letting you know that it's in a Word format. But if you would like to change that and have it just be in the Google Doc format while it's opened here, you would go to the File tab and then Save as Google Docs. Now you'll see that this document is saved to your drive as a Google Doc. And when you need to access it, that's exactly where you can go. Okay, if it is a photo that you would like to upload and save into Google Drive so that you can also use that in Google Classroom, then I'm gonna show you how to do that. I am currently on a MacBook Pro and I'm in Google Photos. I know that everybody has different ways of saving their photos or taking their photos, but I know that a lot of people save them in Google Photos, so I'm going to show you um, how to do that. Okay, so I'm in my Google Photos and this is the photo that I want to save to Google Drive. So what I'm going to do now is go here to this icon and click. And what I want to do is create link. Create link. Once the link is created, we're going to hit copy. And now what I'm going to do is go into my mail and now I'm going to compose an email and I am going to send this to myself. And I'm going to paste that link right here and I'm going to send. Okay, there it is. Once I receive that link. I'm going to open it. Here is the photo. Up on the top right hand side here among all of these options you go to the pancake little symbol here for more options and you're going to choose to download this image. Once this image is downloaded you're going to open it in the download form and you'll notice that it is saved in your downloads as a screenshot, a number, and as a PNG. A lot of teachers like you to save it as a JPEG, J-P-E-G. The difference is they are both a type of image format to store images. Um, they're very similar. They're both good. You could either save it this way to your downloads or you can actually go in and rename it. And call it a JPEG. If you see, it still leaves PNG on the first time, but you'd have to go back in 
and just erase it. Return. It is now going to be in your downloads as a JPEG. So, okay. The next thing you'd like to do now is email that photo to yourself. So I am going to go into my mail and I'm going to attach from my downloads statue. Once that uploads, I will send that to myself. This is the best way I think to do it when you're in school. And now you can open this up and here it is right there for you. Once we have the photo opened up, if we hover over the photo, you'll see that we can just add it directly to our drive. Okay, so now if we go to our Google Drive, the photo should be the first thing there. So it's easy access if you need to send it someplace or, or if you need to uh, submit it as an assignment. But what you also can do is when you open this photo here in Google Drive, it's going to give you options of where else you can save it. So some people might want to just save it here so that they know right where it is. Um, other people might want to keep it, which I think is a more organized way to do it, um, in a photo folder. Okay, and you'll see up here on the right-hand side that you have other options. Move to My Drive. If you hit the arrow, it will give you options. And so what I would do is probably just keep it into a file that is created for just photos. But that would be up to you. Okay, I also know that people quite often use their phones to take photos and directly send it, depending on what kind of a phone you have or if you have Google Classroom on your phone. You can also send your photos from there as well directly to Google Classroom. So um, I'm just going to show you how to take a photo from your phone. And now this time, since we used a Mac here, I'm gonna use an iPhone and save it to your Google Drive. All right, so on the screen of my iPhone, you can see that I'm taking a picture, it, say of a doc, there's the photo. And once I take that photo, um, I'm going to go to my Google Drive app. Now I'm going to open up the app and choose an account. Uh, this would probably be your school account. And I'm going to upload it directly to Google Drive. And um, here you might want to already have a file set up in your drive that says school or that says photos. Either way, here it will just directly upload to Google Drive instead of a direct file. The image is uploading and now you can see that is there directly in Drive. So I want to show you that I can go back to my home screen, go directly to my Google Drive app, open it up, and we'll see that the image that you need is there. And then you can save it wherever you'd like or use it in an assignment. The next video will show how to submit these docs and photos to Google Classroom as assignments.